guys ain't from around here, are ya? Where are you boys trying to head to? Now you boys best keep riding, you hear? This town ain't big enough for the two of us. And welcome back to Cliff's Barber Corral. Okay, Cliff, I like the way you did the back. I like that. I just want you to take off the top. I want it short and the sides. Okay? You got it. This is a normal haircut. This is a very fine haircut. And been cutting his hair quite, quite a while. And it's a pretty basic haircut. With his haircut, the main thing is naturally to make it even all over. So it'll lay in really beautiful. Now I want to show you a, a technique that I'm going to try to show in most videos I do because um, I found this really works well for me. I don't really know if I invented this technique but uh, I incorporated this technique in my haircutting abilities and it really makes my haircuts fun and it's a little more quickly to, to get the style desired. Um, and what I do, I, I, I take water okay or you can use gel which I showed in my other videos I place my Oscar okay, behind the comb and I back comb the hair rather than combing it up to make layers and steps this way you make more of a razor cut and all you do is just keep pushing and just keep pushing the hair right on up and you watch it just fall right into place so perfectly no lines no steps and you gradually have a beautiful haircut but after you cut your hair as using the clipper, you have to use the scissors after. Because using the clipper will cut the hair, but it won't make it even. The scissors what makes the hair an even cut. This just kind of gets the hair down to forming it and shaping it and makes it look really nice. Now you take your scissors, right? and you have to even the hair. So we're gonna turn them into the mirror. And then you can see better what we're doing. Now I pull the hair down and lock it down and I can cut it so that it comes even. And also remember that when hair is wet and hair dries, the hair will shrink because the water makes the hair a little bit longer, believe it. Because you have these embarkations on the hair shaft that the hair, the water fills into the embarkations that weight the hair down. So you gotta cut those those ends to make them even. And you accomplish that with scissors. Mm -hmm. 
This is how I check the evenness by hair, by pulling it. Some people use a, a measure on a comb. They have numbers, so they kind of pull it like such. So what's best works for you. Sometime I'll even have the customer take their hands and put it in there and pull out the same. And as it comes out equally, you know you're pretty much right there. Take a little more off this right side, just to be sure I'm good, right here. Looks pretty nice there. Yes, right? it does, yeah. Clip's a master barber. <laughs> So after I basically get my haircut done, sometimes I use a razor for a razor cutting and sometimes not, just depending on the texture and how well the hair lays in. Because every tool that you use has its benefits and jobs. So I'm going to demonstrate on how to use the razor. And using the razor, it also thins and locks in the hairs. So it's like taking a plane and going over a piece of wood. So if you had noticed on his hair how this side of his hair lays a little flatter and then the right, by adjusting the right side, you can match the left by taking some of the bulk or the density out of the hair. You can't take too much hair off of the bulk because you need the length of the weight of the hair to lay down as well. Now after you raise the hair, the hair will, should lock in really beautiful. And it's great for wavy and curly hair. And mostly it's designed for thin hair as well. Because sometimes if you give um, a razor cut on thick hair, sometimes you'll end up with a lot of fish hooks. So you gotta watch the texture of the hairs as well. You always have to cut with the scissors because you want to cut off the little ends that you cut from the razor. So you don't have to do a lot. It's just even the tips. So everything goes in just real nice. I didn't know I'd be giving a haircut this early in the morning. This is kind of a surprise. He's the first customer and my friend showed up with the camera and here I go. But this will be one for the new coming year. I hope you subscribe and you know keep me showing how to cut hair. I love my job. I've been cutting hair since 1964. So if you can subscribe to my channel, I, I'd appreciate that. I don't know how many subscribers I have, but I get a lot of compliments and I appreciate the thoughtfulness from people who kind of let me know that. So if you have any questions, you know, on haircutting, I, you could get a hold of me by going to Chris Barbara Crowell at gmail.com. 
I'll do my best to answer back. So a lot of times I ask the customer if he likes to wear it wet, dry natural or dry with hair dryer, or put some product on the hair. In this man's case, I would put some of that, uh, that salvo pseudo cream, because he needs something very light, but nothing heavy, unless he wore it dry. So let me show you how to put the cream on. This is the salvo pseudo creams. It don't take much, just a little bit. You put the palm to your hands as such. And I always start at the front and then work my way back. Otherwise, if I start at the back, I gotta push everything front. Somehow it just comes on better, just starting at the front. Just kinda work it in a bit. Perfect haircut. Works very good. Cliff's been cutting my hair a long time. And here is the average normal haircut. Hope you enjoy it.